camera three. Hello and welcome to Cedar Valley Today. Take camera I'm three. Melissa Kozak. Stand by Warbrick College is DDR. developing a new program for students who wish to get away from campus for a semester. Take DDR one. The Urban Studies DDR. program, which is scheduled to start this fall, would allow students to live in Des Moines for a semester. DDR. They would take two credits for an internship and complete two courses as an arranged study with a faculty member. Dr. Dan Kittle, one of the main organizers of the program, along with Joe Dorrance, says that so far the interest is very high. I don't know that we've set a hard deadline except to say we've only got one spot left and so the student who expresses interest first will have that spot. The application is on a rolling basis, but the final deadline for fall term is May 2nd. Students working at Warburg are going to see an increase in their paycheck but only if they work in certain departments. So employees working in dining or maintenance will get a 25 cent raise to their base pay. Students can also up their pay by 10 cents after each 200 hours they work. The Vice President of yeah, Dining Services, that? Margaret Empey, says about 200 students are needed to run dining services. Empey says the pay raises could be included in their current budget. Take that. So you so didn't ask for or get any extra money. For the managers in the areas, what that down. means is we're committing to not Stand by considering BL. a lot more student jobs. Ebby says she hopes the pay increase will keep, help Stand keep students story. from quitting. Students who have worked 200 hours in past semesters will be seeing some extra cash on their paycheck as well. Next story. CG. After successfully piloting the program last year, Warburg College will now be requiring all students faculty, and staff to participate in an online sexual misconduct prevention training. According to Dr. Dan Kittle, the reason for the training is to help create an environment where people will understand their rights and responsibilities when it comes to sexual misconduct. In addition to the training, Kittle says the Student Life Office is doing more than just the online training in order to help create the community that is safe and responsive. I think we've become more sophisticated in our responses and our programming, for example. Like we know um, there's, a, there's a need to educate students more and more and more in regards to effective consent. Both part one and part two of the training must be taken before February 22nd. There's a 30-day waiting period between when you finish part one and start part two. Students who do not complete the training will not be allowed to register for next year's classes. With any questions, contact the Student Life Office. Take bump. Next, we all scream for ice cream when one local business Everybody opens again. Take DDR2. The car. The car gives you freedom. Okay. A new beginning. Room to grow. Stand by camera two. And in time, room to grow up. Your dream car evolves. Protecting what takes committed support. American Family Insurance. Stand by camera two. Take camera two. Maya Weatherall is here Stand to take a look at one. phone scams. Maya. Thanks, Alyssa. Tax season is back, and the IRS phone scams are higher than usual. Waverly Police are on the lookout for residents with concerns. Pick me up. Captain Leonard TV? says the IRS phone scams have hit Waverly with about 8 to 12 phone calls within the last week. The phone scams are bogus calls made to residents to take their money and ask for personal information. The Bremer Waverly Law Enforcement Center is called if issues of phone scams happen. Captain Leonard says the best way to handle this and for residents to be more informed is through the media. People fall victim to these scams are being phone called and being threatened with these kinds of scams is one thing, but some of them actually fall for the, fall for the scam itself and yeah. send money. And that is where it becomes very hard for us to try to help people out with. Waverly residents are encouraged to hang up if the person on the phone asks for personal information because the IRS does not ask for that. For more info, you can go to irs.gov to see a list of the IRS do's and don'ts. Take camera three. Cold outside? I won't keep one local place from opening their doors for the season. The Waverly really Dairy yeah. Queen is set to open Thank for the you. new season today. In the past, the store would not open until the middle mm -hmm. or end of February. The change is expected to bring more customers in for ice Thank cream you know. despite the cold. Yeah, the doors story. are set to open at 10.30 this morning. Take next story. The Waverly really Public Library will be participating in a statewide initiative starting this Saturday. 
The program is called 1,000 Books by Kindergarten to get young children and parents actively reading on a daily basis. It may sound like a lot of books, but the children's librarian at the Waverly Library says that just by reading one book every day, you will reach just over a third of the goal. The library strongly believes in their mission statement to grow young readers, and this program follows along closely with that statement. I am a believer that the more you read to children, um, the better they, they do in school and in life. If a child likes a book and wants to reread it several times, each time will count to the goal. The main goal is to get the child to read or listen. As a child reaches a certain amount of books, they will receive a prize of a book, a bag, or even a finger puppet. To sign up for the event, check out the library's website at waverlyia.com backslash public dash library. Vogel Library is a great study place for some students, but others are asking for a change. A short survey is letting students say what they think about the library. It includes a question about what spaces they like to use. Another question is whether the library is visually appealing. The Library Student Advisory Board created the survey. The president of the board says this is the opportunity for students to transform the library. Honestly, there could be any change in the world. Whatever the, whatever the vast majority of the student body wants and what they tell us for the survey, we're going to try to make the change for them. Students will receive a link to the survey in their email on February 8th. They have until February 22nd to fill it out. Coming up, we'll take a look at your social media. We're killing weather. Good. When was the last time you were in the Dirt Valley. Warburg College basketball took on the Simpson Storm last night. The women's team won 77 to 61 with Katie Sommer tying her career high of 27 points in a game. On the men's side, the Knights won 95 to 87, and Jordan Cannon reaches 1,000 points in his career. Cannon now joins Kaylee Claudeau in the 1,000 points club. Warburg's Water to Thrive student organization is hosting a free will pancake dinner tomorrow night. The event will be held at St. Mary's here in Waverly from 5 to 8 in the evening. All proceeds will go toward building freshwater wells in rural Africa. What a great opportunity to eat breakfast for dinner. We'll be right back. Are you a high school senior? Cameron 3, back to the desk, or you can have a with the goal of helping you master digital skills in video, audio, and live production. Camera one, you'll get the one time the interview camera. You'll have the opportunity to work in our digital production control room, live recording studios, and have access to our full line of digital cinema gear. This program is designed for digital creatives who want to explore areas such as screenwriting, producing, producing, and directing, on the two of them. digital three, cinematography, and lighting design, music production, and digital audio recording, live video production, and streaming. Ten. We're committed to training Nine. the next generation One, of digital, digital storytellers. Six. For more information about the Department Three. of Journalism Two. and Communication, find us online and on Facebook. Waverly's Phil Jones stepped down from city administrator at the end of last year, leaving that position open. After the city conducted a search, James Bronner was hired for the position and started his duties this past Saturday at the city budget meeting. Thank you for joining me, James. So your title of city administrator is a very broad term. What exactly do you do in your position? You can also say it's a city manager position. Uh, basically, a lot of the day-to-day -day operations of the city flow through the uh, city hall office where I sit and a lot of the decisions that are made or the items that don't need to go to city council, we would decide how those things would occur. Um, we oversee police, fire, parks and rec, uh, most of the departments in the city and so our job is really to run the city in the manner that the city council and mayor deem appropriate. All right, and 
Now, what makes you qualified for this job? <laughs> That's a really good question. Um, um, Education-wise, I have a okay. dual major, Stand double by. degree from Northern no, Iowa, uh, finance and economics. Piece. And then I have an MBA yeah. in finance right. and management so from Take University of Missouri, Kansas City. Uh, oh, for the past 20 years, I spent my career in finance, well, various shot. levels of it. She's uh, nine years at Hallmark Cards, of all yeah, places, uh, downtown Kansas, Kansas City. And a lot of financial analysis work, credit collection, various types of uh, financial degrees there. And then the last 11 years were at Blackhawk County, uh, just to the south, obviously, as their finance director. And that role was really very similar to the city manager's position. We, uh, the staff and I, were oversaw most of the operations of the county, the financial uh, problems that occur, uh, bonds and audit and everything. And so the fit for the city administrative position at Waverly was very similar. And I guess the city ultimately decided I was qualified, but uh, uh, that's kind of the basis of why we decided to go ahead and apply for the position. And what do you plan on doing in this position as the year progresses? A lot of the first three to six months is going to revolve around getting familiar with the businesses, the uh, public, uh, Orbird, wonderful college here, and just to get uh, a good feel for what the city has and does not have, and try to help decide what's maybe missing, if anything, and truly accentuate the good things that are already here and try to improve on the things that may not be what people would like them to be. Uh, it, it's a lot in the first year, but uh, we have a very strict guideline on what we'd like to accomplish the first three months, six months, and as long as we can continue to work towards that, I think we'll be fine. All right, well, I know you have a busy day ahead of you with a lot of meetings, so I'll let you get back to your busy day. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you for joining me. It was great having you on, and I'm excited to see how you how you take on Waverly. I'm excited for that as well. We'll see how it all turns out. So all right. Thank you very much. Well, the recent snowstorm is causing a rescheduling and garbage pickup. Take Details off. coming next. Stand by DDO2. Take DDO2. Yeah. That's good. Mike, Mike, Mike. Good, good? Yep, we're good. As Warford alumni, we're proud to support Knights Athletics. And as first National Bank employees, we're here to serve you first. He's unmuted. He's Due to the recent abundance of snowy weather and truck repairs, the city of Waverly has rescheduled their garbage and curbside recycling pickup. For those on Tuesday's garbage route were moved to Wednesday, and those along Wednesday and Thursday's routes will be picked up on Thursday. Friday's garbage route will be picked up as scheduled on Friday. As for recycling, Tuesday and Wednesday routes will be picked up on Thursday. Thursday and Friday's recycling routes will be picked up on Friday. CQ down. Take camera three. Thank you for watching Cedar Valley today. Like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter for more content. Be sure to download our app on Google Play and Apple Store. Tonight is Battle of the Bergs here at Warburg, so tune in on Night Vision to watch that. I will be announcing it alongside Riley Cole, and there's a victory belt, so stay tuned to see who wins that. And it's National Cancer Awareness Day, so if you have somebody in your family or a friend that has cancer, reach out to them and make sure that they know you're with them and are aware. Have a great day, Cedar Valley. Take hey, camera one. She's muted. Black. We are out. Show guys.